Hello, this is Mr. Neil Reiter, Consultant Audiologist and Director of Cluax. Thank you for joining me in another demonstration video of our recently developed Clearwax uh, Waxscape, which is due to be launched early autumn 2022. So if you are interested uh, in the Waxscape and what it can offer and, and how it can advance your clinical practice, please do send an email to info at clearwax.co.uk and we can add you to our mailing list. So I had a patient who has uh, bilateral hearing aids and they had some occluding keratin, quite lateral, and it was causing their hearing aids to uh, feedback, to whistle. So he's come in and we're just uh, removing this sticky, probably, yeah, I would say more lateral dead skin off the, the canal wall and I think there's a few bit of remnants around the edge which you're going to try and just gently peel away without it clarinetting and trumpeting so you can see the clarity in which um, the instrument's in view and the magnification so um, the waxscape is not designed to replace our uh, flagship iClearscope which is the wireless endoscope um, you may have seen uh, a lot of the videos with the endoscope and the field of view with an endoscope is quite simply unrivaled but we have found that training um, with the endoscope can be a bit difficult for some people and that's just because it just requires a, a lot of bilateral integration coordination between your right and left hand so some people just find that a bit more tricky and that's what uh, that was the brainchild um, behind developing the waxscope um, so it's got a speculum attachment and they come in different sizes. We've got the, the using, I think this is the 4.25. We have got a smaller one, a 3.5 and two larger ones, a 5 mil and a 5.75. And the speculum is designed to dilate the ear canal, um, as opposed to if you're using the endoscope where there is no speculum attachment and you're relying upon the endoscope itself. You, you need to acquire that skill in order to stretch and widen the ear canal as you are simultaneously introducing the instrument with the opposite contralateral hand. Um, so this is a lot more user-friendly in that respect. So we can see we removed the, uh, the majority of the keratin already. Um, with the waxscape, it's done into a microscope, a head loop, so you have to get the object of interest and focus. And it's so much easier to do uh, with the waxscape. It's, uh, we used uh, the app and we can adjust the focus very easily, very quickly, whether it's uh, visualising, in this case at the moment, the dead skin, um, or if you're visualising the eardrum, and you'll see uh, that in a moment when we can just adjust it. So the patient has got a slightly collapsed ear canal. As you can see, I'm just trying to get underneath the posterior lateral canal wall to stretch it open. And it's just got some a bit of remnants, a bit of dead keratin, just laterally right on the, uh, on the roof and on the anterior canal wall. And since it's not clarinetting, I just thought I'd remove that. Um, it'll just help prevent the hearing aid getting blocked and hopefully stop it from whistling, which it did. Um, there's no feedback after the procedure, so the patient's happy. So again, just going to stretch the ear open. We're just going to get the eardrum in focus now. You can see just how focused that is. Just a bit more keratin there, just at the base of the ear canal, so it's on the inferior aspect just past the first bend of the ear canal, so I'm just using a fine end here, just gently just teasing that away. There we are. So I hope you enjoyed that video, um, demonstrating the Waxscape. We'll be uploading some more in due course. Again, if you are interested in purchasing the Waxscape, please email info at clearwax.co.uk. Thank you, bye.